today we're going to be installing the passenger side display panel in the 2016 Mustang GT. It'll replace the section that is currently red. So I'm going to pause for a minute and we'll give you some updates as we uh, make some progress. Okay, we purchased the passenger LCD display from TPS Motorsports. So let's see uh, what's inside the box. Nice box. Of course, you've got their sticker. The display. And the wiring harness. Pretty simple. First thing you have to do is remove the trim panels off the dash, which we did. Now that we got the trim panels off, I'm going to go ahead and remove this piece here to make ready for the passenger side display. There's a couple of 7mm bolts that you have to take loose. And then once you get those loose, it should just pop right out. So I'm going to get these out. So now that that's out, you just get the pry tool in, get it underneath, and then start working, working the piece out. But the piece actually pops out pretty easily. And again, I'm doing my video a little backwards than others. I want to go ahead and get the display in before I start the wiring. And so next, now that we've got that piece popped out, we need to pop this vent off so that we can use it on the new panel. Okay, got the vent transferred to the new piece. And now we're going to take and run the wire up so that we can plug it in. And basically, just going to run the wire up behind and through Now that we've got that fish through there, I'll plug it in and, and snap the display in. All right, now that we got the wire pre-ran and the display mounted, I'm, we need to go ahead and, and pull back the carpet to expose the, the BCM plug, the body control module plug, which is this one here. So we're gonna pull that off and start wiring now. And one thing to note, anytime you're doing any wiring on the car, especially when you're getting around the BCM and important items, you want to make sure and disconnect the power, uh, the battery cable, which we've already done. So let's get this cable pulled loose and we'll, we'll continue. There is some slack in the cable, which is good. So now that we've got this out here where you can see it, we're going to remove this red cover and then we're going to come over we need to take the back side off the plug too you just simply do that and what's good about the kit is they provide you with this little screwdriver that you can use that'll help you with this process and help you push the pins out that we're going to in just a second what we're looking for in the harness is the blue and the white which is pins nine and ten the white is nine and the blue is 10. And the thing that makes them easy to define in the, in the connector is it's the ones with two sets of wires. So you'll see 
and get a good angle on the camera, you'll see two white wires here going into the back of the connector and then right beside it there's two blue wires going in and those are the two you need to get at and pull out it's kind of hard to see from the video but what i always like to do is grab the wire that you're wanting to pull out which we're going to do pin nine the white first and put pressure on the back side and then inside the clip there is a little retaining pin that you can push down with the screwdriver. And when you push that retaining pin while putting pressure from the backside, the cable will just slide right out. All right, now that we've got those two removed, and the new one's inserted into the plug, we can start working on wiring up the connector on the factory side. When you take this plug apart, you take the back off, and then there's a little blue grommet that goes in that you're gonna fish your wires through. And if you're uncertain which side is which, all you have to do is take the the other side of the plug and line it up and make sure they match. That blue plugs into blue and white plugs into white. And like I said, that's simply the way you figure that out is just by mating up the connector you're working on with the other and just making the wires match. Now that we've got the the wires into the plug and when you push them in they'll find they'll snap and that's how you know you got them in place so now we'll put the grommet and the end cap back on and then we'll simply plug them together now that we've got the connector together and plugged in and the bcm connector back together we'll go ahead and plug the bcm back in and wire up the power in the ground. Hopefully you can see this okay. They're wanting you to use this blue 15 amp fuse at the top of the fuse block. And they send you this fuse tap, which makes it easy uh, to do the install. You simply pull that fuse out and plug this one in. So we'll get that plugged in real quick. Okay. I've got the fuse tap installed. It's, cart it's hard to see with the lighting, but it's in there. And then I ran the ground and just pulled that nut off and screwed it down underneath it. Everything's pre-wired, so you, there's no termination. Just take the nut off and slide it on. So now that we've got everything in place, I'll connect the battery terminals, and we'll fire it up and see what she, she looks like. All right. And now we're the moment of truth. Got the battery terminal connected. So now we'll start it up and see what she does. <laughs> Okay, I thought I'd do a quick little recap before we took it out on a road test. The driver's side display 
install from TPS Motorsports was super easy. Uh, the most intimidating part is getting into the BCM module, which is not that big a deal, but it is kind of intimidating if you've never done anything like that before. It only, it took me less than 30 minutes for the install, and that was making the video in the process. So I'm sure um, it's realistic to like less than 30 minutes, anybody can do the install. There's no wire splicing. The hardest part about it is just pushing those two pins out of the BCM module and wiring that in. They, like I said, super pleased, super easy, and we'll just see how everything goes from here. And we'll be back shortly for a road test. All right, I got I got my son Chase with me now. We're gonna go and we're gonna road test this.